Hi, I'm Chris. The problem with charity is it's a hierarchical relationship. It's an individual or a bunch of people giving apparently selflessly and unnecessarily to a vulnerable person. It might mean the poor person can survive a bit longer, but it does nothing to change the person's situation or the structure of society. There's plenty of reason to be suspicious of charitable organizations and foundations, which usually have an agenda oriented to serve their rich donors. A top-down approach does not empower people. Many people already marginalized by society are left out. Charity can have the effect of entrenching poverty and strengthening the system that creates it, rather than lifting people out of poverty, which is surely the goal. If you want to lift people out of poverty, try mutual aid. Mutual aid is an equal relationship. It means helping each other, working for our common benefit. It means building community and letting everyone share in its wealth. Mutual aid has been the norm throughout history, and it's only ever stopped by force. Mutual aid is a more reliable social safety net than government and charity, since it's not a budget or a contract that depends on the whims of rich people. Once everyone in the community is part of your mutual aid organization or network, you can decide together what needs to be done, whether it's building homes or community gardens or libraries, a neighborhood watch, a voluntary fire department, road repairs, support groups, free education workshops, or just looking after each other's kids for a night. Mutual aid is the road to freedom, independence, and community.